Hi, Audacious Church. My name is Andy Smith, and along with my wife, Karis, we have the pleasure of being the youth pastors in our Manchester campus. Um, I hope today's devotional is going to be really helpful for you, uh, so let's get into it. Do you remember when you were a kid and your mum or dad would ask you to do something like come and clean your bedroom or go and get a shower? What was your response? Uh, do you remember just saying things like, oh, I'm just going to do this first? Uh, I've got three children, and whenever I ask one of my children to go to bed, he never directly goes to bed. He always has to go to the bathroom. He always has to do something else along the way. And if I'm honest, it can be fairly infuriating. I have to say I'm also guilty of procrastinating too. And when I need to get stuff done, there are times in life when it's easy to get distracted from my goal. But if we get distracted, we don't complete our ambitions or plans that have been set out before us. In Hebrews 12 verses one Uh, to three it says this therefore since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us fixing our eyes on Jesus the pioneer and perfecter of our faith for the joy set out before him he endured the cross scorning shame and sat down at the right hand uh, of the throne of God consider him who endured such opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary and lose heart at my son Ethan's first sports day, he was running uh, like what was the equivalent of a six-year-old's 100-metre race. And he was running the race and he spotted Karis and I at the side and he stopped, waved and lost the race. He was winning and lost because he got distracted. Here's some thoughts about distractions for you today. Number one, distractions start small but have the potential to take you out of the race. Number two, distractions take your eyes off the prize. And number three, distractions slow you down. So what do you see as a distraction in your life? My word for you today is the following thing. Stay on target. In Hebrews 12, it talks about throwing off everything that hinders us and getting rid of the sin that entangles us and fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith. So today, as we start our day off well, by doing a devotional like this, um, I just want to pray for you and and pray for you to... uh, identify distractions, identify things that are slowing you down, identify things you need to remove from your life and um, and, put, and, and, and and fix your eyes on Jesus again, the author and perfecter of our faith. What is it that uh, is the race that he's got running for you? So God, I want to thank you for everyone here who is watching this. I thank you that um, you have a plan and a purpose for us, God. And I pray that the distractions that are just there to merely take us off course from the race that we're running, would uh, you'd help us to identify those, remove those, God, and that we would have your plans and purposes at the forefront of our mind today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Audacious Church, have a fantastic rest of your day. We love you dearly. And uh, yeah, you're awesome.